How's it going, everybody? It's PJ for PJ Play on Twitch. Um, I don't know why I'm being so silent, quiet. <laughs> it's PJ for PJ Play on Twitch. Uh, I did some work in the garage. I'm up over five hundred thousand dollars, so I thought I'd get back to some of the personal projects. I brought in the bolt Atlanta that we had that I had been working on, and uh, unfortunately, I couldn't stop myself. Um, the bolt Atlanta, I had done everything. All that was left was to rebuild the engine and uh, redo the exhaust, and then it was done. Um, and so I started by pulling the engine, and well, let me just take it apart. <laughs> and then, oh, and once I had it apart, I was like, well, let me just see what I can uh, fix on the bench. And then it got to be, uh, well, uh, let me just put the parts that I fixed on the bench back into the engine. Uh, back on the stand and uh, eventually as you can see the bolt Atlanta got sold <laughs> So I finished it up and it's out of here. We're gonna go ahead and continue work on the Jeep Willys military If we take a quick gander here, you can see it get oh, sorry uh, Mouse is being a little sensitive. Let's see if I can turn that down. Okay As you can see the Jeep uh, Willys military is in kind of the same boat front ends been rebuilt both the suspension and the uh, brakes same with the back end we got a new fuel tank or well, maybe it's not new but um, it's a hundred percent so hundred percent fuel tank hundred percent fuel pump uh, the drive shafts okay but as you can see it's the engine and the gearbox that needs work um, batteries in good shape and the radiator so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this out and we're gonna get to work rebuilding this engine um, I'm gonna have to rebuild the brake pump uh, the yeah, whatever uh, I also brought back in the uh, our DC Typhoon that's what it is right yeah DC Typhoon this still has a lot to go uh, we did rebuild the, the rear the rear end so the rear ends done um, uh, we got to rebuild the front end still um, and then I'll probably hold off and, and then the last but not least will be to rebuild the engine the exhaust and uh, And we'll get her out on the road. Um, and then I also brought in whoop. I left the door open a new project that I picked up um, the other day and I got uh, I got her you know, I, I brought her in and I took some pictures of her because I don't tend to uh, Document it, um, but what I'm hoping to do with this one is treat it more realistically. So the first thing we're, we're going to wind up doing is um, we're going to strip down everything we can take off of it. So we'll take the fender off here, the the hood. This one's missing a front fender. We'll get the uh, we'll get the bumper off. Um, the rear left fender. We'll grab the doors, the windows, all of this stuff that comes off. We'll take off. So it's just down to uh, to what's left. Um, this is missing the door over here. And then we'll uh, we'll grab the uh, we'll grab the welder and we'll fix the uh, uh, we will fix the, the the frame and get that back in shape. Then we'll get it on a lift and we'll start pulling everything off uh, mechanically. We'll pull the suspension and the brakes. We'll pull the motor and the gear uh, the gear. Uh, the gearbox and uh, and we'll try to re rebuild it um, the way you would kind of well it doesn't even have a windshield <laughs> but uh, I'm also going to try and keep track of how much I'm spending on this one we I, uh, I did have the purchase on on uh, on video because it was uh, my last broadcast I believe uh, and I'm going to try and keep a running total of all the money we put into it so we can see how much we make uh, when we sell it back. Um, it's a Smith 1500. It's kind of, it's in rough shape. The body condition's at 7%. The parts condition's at 12. Frames in 37%. And the interior's at 19 So a lot of work to be done on this one. We also picked up another DC Typhoon that's in uh, similar shape. We found that at the, at the junkyard as well. Um, but for today, what we're going to do is we're going to work on this Jeep Willys. Uh, the engine and the gearbox, we'll see how long it takes. Obviously, everything is time permitting. First thing you want to do before you pull the engine out is you want to make sure there's no oil in it. So we're going to jack lifter 2 and we're going to use it.
All right, so we got the oil out. It looked a little light. Again, I think that's an indication that there may be water in the oil. It looks a little bit light in color. Um, let's see the exhaust. We're going to pull this front exhaust section, and then we want to get this uh, gearbox off. Um, and in order to do that, we got to pull these drive shafts. This is four-wheel drive. So it's got this one, but then it's also got one that comes off the transfer case and goes to the front drive axle right there. And there's your transfer case. So this transfers what's coming out of the gearbox takes it from one to two and like I say splits it. Oh, we gotta get the starter off. Starter looks like it's in good shape. Oh, an engine bay. Okay, so I have to step out just to bring the thing down just so I can get it to starter out. Okay. All right. Yeah, it is actually it is really I, that's the thing I do miss about um, these new cars now it's like when you open this up right when we come over here and we look inside you see all this room <laughs> that's called room to work um, the new cars with all the uh, gadgets and gizmos and all of that stuff there's no room in there to work anymore I actually should check my inventory. I did not clear my I did not clear my inventory. This was all part to here, I believe, right? I know I didn't pull any rocker arms off of it yet or any push rods, so we can get rid of those. Oil filter V8 overhead valve, that's not what I'm working on. I'm working on an I6. In line six, we got a barn location. Again, I've got so many barn locations, I can't even use them. Got to be careful now, Pete, because you're going to fly through here. And you don't want to do that. We did not take any exhaust off except for this front exhaust section. There you go. Now we're, 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 we're <laughs> now we're where we need to be. There we go. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta slow down. We'll go here with it. And then we'll go here, and then we'll go here, and then we'll go here, and then we'll go here. Because I got it like that. Okay, I don't need to take these off. Um, I know I can install them when it's on the stand. You know what? Let's just go ahead and pull them. Because we're gonna, um, like I say, I can't install the, the new ones when I get them so we don't uh, I would hate though to get it up there and not be able to get these off all right there we go we should be good it's drained of oil uh, we disconnected the gearbox and we should be all right um, no we need to jack where are you jack all right, we got to go to lift two, my friend. All right, do me a favor. Uh, remove, pull out, pull out the engine. They have done so. I am now going to carry this engine because because I have the engine, the I4. It's an I4, not even an I6. What's an I6? The Smith 1500's got an I6 in it. That's what I'm getting confused about. There you go. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. I6 on the Smith. 1500 okay i like the smith 1500 so i'm going to carry this engine now over to this <laughs> engine stand and we're going to put this no we're not creating a new one we're going to add engine into the crate rotate right rotate left we don't want to do that take off engine from crate okay so we're going to put the i4 on there there she is let's go ahead and take a look you can go back to your hidey hole there you go Let's take a look. I know this brake pump needs to come off. And let's snatch this radiator out of here as well. Okay. Uh, we're going to disassemble this 
engine. Um, and then we're going to go over to the bench. This is brand, that's brand new. Yeah, 100. I had to buy that because uh, it didn't have one. And of course, it's not going to start without that. Oil filter canister, oil filter base. Uh, same thing with the ignition wires. It was it wouldn't start, so we had to uh, we did have to do some purchasing to get things enough parts. Oh, uh, to get enough parts so we could get it going. So we do have some new parts on there. We got the ignition coil. Same thing again. All part of the ignition problems we were having. So radiator fan. Which is the other reason why I've, you know, I've decided to try and be more, uh, gather more information because it gets real easy to forget what you did, which parts are new, you know, you bought, which parts were you able to recondition. So I want to make sure that I'm keeping, as we move forward, I had, um, that was not a star pattern and I'll be bummed. Um, but anyway, I had 12 cars, so I had a, a full floor uh in my in my parking garage um again i did sell that one bolt atlanta and that's that's part of the issue like i said that was another one where i was just working on it didn't pay much attention to stuff so i'm hoping as we move forward now we'll, i'm going to change that up so i'm not too worried about this um here jeep willies again because i've done quite a bit already that i don't remember so I think I'm just going to finish this one up, get it out the door, and, uh, and then, uh, one with the Smith 1500 and that DC Typhoon that's sitting in the, the rusted out one that I got from the junkyard, I think I will uh, start to keep better track. So, water pump. Our pump looks bad. 23%. Yeah, that would be... We would have to replace that, definitely. That alternator's in good shape, though. We're going to grab this arm B. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, we got to get the uh, four spark plugs out. I'm sure these things are cooked. 100%. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I changed them out. So no, they're not good. They're all brandy dandy now. All right, let's remove. Nope. All right. All right, cylinder head. Now we are going to step back. Grab hold of ooh, we're gonna grab hold of the engine stand. We're gonna move it not once but twice. Makes it easier to access the oil pan. And once we remove the oil pan, obviously then we can get to the crankshaft and the, the pistons, the piston caps, um, and the camshaft. All right, so we got a I four, and I believe the Jeep Willys does not offer any sort of uh swap so you can't there's not much you can do it's got an i4 in it it's going to have an i4 in it. <laughs> um, but it does not seem like you can embellish that at all so the best that we can do is just try to get it back in good shape oh hey darren um uh, really okay I don't know. I just got in. Uh, okay. Um, it's a fun game. Uh, I'm hoping you're enjoying it. Um, you don't understand. And okay. My video is pausing and the audio too. I may be having problems. I just got a new graphics card. So um, I may be having the issues that way, but it should actually be better than my old one. So I'm hoping it's not me, but I'm so used to it being me. I wouldn't be surprised at all. <laughs> wouldn't be surprised. But thanks for joining me, Darren. I appreciate it, man. Glad to see you're here. Um, 
Normally I'm just talking to myself. That's why I didn't notice when you first started talking. Uh, just chatting. Uh oh. I didn't mean to do that. See, now I'm talking and not paying attention. <laughs> All right. All right, so now that we've uh, removed the piston caps, we can pull the pistons out um, without a problem. 59.21, so the pistons are in a little bit, well, that one's the rings. Okay. All right, so I can pull the crankshaft out from here. I think that's pretty much it. That's everything. No, the camshaft. There's the camshaft. 38%, so that would definitely... And now I'm going to grab the block, and I should be, if I look into my inventory, I got everything all pieced out. So if I go over to the uh, workbench, I should be able to access everything. So let's see what we can repair at the workbench, because that will save us money on these rehabs, and that's what you want. You want to save money. Ooh, gearbox, I see the radiator. I like to move around. Some people just... Uh, just keep hitting the uh, return key. Uh, I'm a little superstitious. I've had luck kind of just going, moving through them. And like I said, with the uh, Smith 1500, I'm going to keep track of every time I have to hit the button to make the repair. All right, we got that cap fixed to 100%. Rod cap. water pump that'd be nice if we can get that water pump fixed timing cover I'm not sure let me check you know what I can check if you're out there and you're watching and you're having issues with my twitch stream please let me know I'm going to see if I can uh, monitor it on my cell. Let me just check it out on my cell phone. All right. Let's see. Sometimes that happens too with me when I'm watching somebody else. Um, oh. Yes, yeah, it's running pretty well on my phone. Um, if you go down into the lower corner, lower right-hand corner, there's a little gear there. And it says, uh, and if you click on that, it says report playback issues. And it will give you like a drop-down menu that, oh, crud. Um, and one of the things is audio and video stutter. I think I broke my camshaft. <laughs> I think I broke my camshaft. Nothing worse with a, than a man with a broken camshaft. There, we got that. Rod cap. There's three. Okay, so we got three of the uh, rod caps done. All right, crankshaft bearing. That oil pan is killing me. Do it. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to wait. I'm going to give it a minute or two. There you go. Sometimes slowing down, I think, helps. Uh, moves the bar a little bit more. Oh, you There you go. That's what I wanted. The block. Whole and intact. I love it. So far, we're having some pretty good luck here. With the exception of that freaking camshaft. 91. Get it. Got it. All right, so let's take a looky in the bookie. Okay, so we're going to need to replace all of the pistons and all of the... I will go ahead and place all the piston rings um because it looks like yeah there's our broken camshaft i foresee um so and the engine head will need to be replaced arm b i might see if i have these 
in my somewhere inside. I might have even better ones actually. And a brake servo. Okay, so let's see what we got. Back to the engine stand. Let's throw. Oh. Oh yeah, part mount. Let's throw the block up there. Look at look at how clean it is. Oh, that's so nice looking, isn't it? Um, the exhaust manifold I think is in good shape. We can bolt that on. Um, uh, intake. Intake is good too. All right. I love it when a plan comes together, folks. All right. Throttle carburetor. It is not a throttle. It's a carburetor. So I'm excited because I also purchased for myself yesterday Brewmaster. Um, it's on a sale on Steam. 10% off. Um, and I was eyeballing it, and um, brewing has always been kind of an interest. So I'm like, I can't, I can't hold off. I got to run out and get a water pump pulley. Uh, we're gonna take care of that in a minute. Oil filter base and air filter base. Who is? Do people not know I'm streaming? <laughs> Why are people bugging me right now? Okay, we're going to hold off on ignition for the time being. We're going to back up. We're going to rotate the engine so we can get that camshaft in there. A crankshaft. Crankshaft. we got to buy a new camshaft. I'm a little slow, folks. Okay, there you go. So we got the crank in there. We got. I think we got all three bearing caps done up yep looks a hundred percent to me so the goal is to wind up with as few parts as possible left in our inventory afterwards okay um i don't think i can put them in with it upside down i can okay but i need four new pistons um oh well, are we gonna look in the book all right what do we got I need pistons, goodies, engine. I need four pistons with connecting rods. And four piston rings. I don't think that's what we need. Water pump pulley. I do need one of those, don't I? Uh, right here. I think we fixed the right here to 100%. Right now, we're looking for four pistons with con rods. That's it? That's all? One piston ring? I'm not putting, I'm not putting in a piston ring with a plus three. Just cuz man what is that about uh we don't have an engine head though either do we gearbox body rims groups no 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 no, no. engine head i 4c oh i got an arm though i need that right it's arm b arm a Ooh. No, I don't want to sell it. I want to move that in. Although that's a high pro piece. It's a plus five. It's a plus five, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? Giving away the store? Just giving away the store. Water pump pulley. That's a plus three. I think I don't, is that the only one I have? I think that's the only one I have. Yeah, might as well take it. <laughs> Um, I'm not using, I'm really not using any of this stuff anyway, right? So this is, this is my first attempt. Uh, no, that's not, that's not what we need. So this is my first attempt at trying to use up some of the stuff that I've actually accumulated. Which, as you can see, I have a ton of it, so. 
Water pump pulley, we'll go ahead and take that as well. So, we still need four pistons with con rods. Piston. Boom. Four. We'll take that. We only need three of these. We'll take that. All right. Back to the business at hand. And I, I'm not going to go into my my high pro stuff. I mean, this Jeep Willys doesn't really need high pro high pro gear, man. Um, I don't know if this would be the best way to go about putting these in. Typically, I would. Do I want? Do I want that on the back or the front? Let's go front. It's not giving it to me now. Okay. So it's going on the back anyway. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. So it's a plus three quality, which means it's not just new; it's better than new. You know, it's so it's it is a a better part. And uh, I think I've been guilty of just kind of hoarding them, waiting for the right moment to to utilize them. You know, and I think the reality is I've gotten so many. I mean, especially when you look at the barns, uh, the barn locations. I've got so many of those. I have a separate. Old, I have a separate warehouse just holding on to those. Uh, oil pan is 100%, so that's good. All right, I think we can step back now. And we can rotate this engine over top. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to utilize... Uh, high pro. I might have a high pro I4C engine head, but I got another Jeep Willys that I'm going. I'm going to be. I want to trick out a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, engine head I4C. We do need a camshaft too. Um, and I completely spaced on what camshaft we need. Camshaft I. Well, oh, straight ahead I4C. Let's grab that too before I forget. Before, uh, before I fix to fix in to forget what I'm forgetting. Put that on there. That's 100%. That's got a lot of screws to it. Bolts. They're not screws. They're bolts. Pierre. There you go. And we got four new spark plugs, so that's cool. We can just go throw those in. I think the uh, distributor is 100%. So is the rotor. Yup. And the cap. Yup. And we got a couple clips, which I think are okie dokie. Clip B. Yeah, they're both 100%. There you go. Nope. There you go. Mission wires are new, so those can go back on. Starting to look like a little bit of an engine here, huh? Plus three quality water pump. Holy. Dude. There's my new cam shaft. That'll go slide right in there. Cam gear i6b it's only at 53 so we're gonna go cam gear i6b boop boop nope there it is oh yeah. okay there we go we're gonna need some new filters let's drop this puppy drop it like it's hot yo um, did we have an A? We did have an A. Look at that. Quality plus five. That thing is never going to move. It will never come off. 
Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not using OBS. Oh, barely. I barely know what I'm doing. I mean, <laughs> I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. If I can answer questions, I, w I definitely will. Um, but I'm not, I'm not I'm really not an expert. So, um, and you're, you're dropping frames. Cause I'm like I say, I'm, I'm on my phone watching, you know, basically going through Twitch and just watching. I got, I don't seem to have any problems. I'm sorry about that, Darren. I, uh, I will look into it. Um, for the next time, but uh, I don't know what to do right now. And like I said, I'm not going through OBS. I'm just using uh, GeForce. I'm just using GeForce to uh, broadcast. So maybe that's it. Maybe I should. Maybe I should move over to OBS. Maybe that's maybe that's my problem. Um, timing chain, thirty thirty nine. Yeah, we're gonna get a new one. Timing chain. So I'm sorry you're having problems, buddy. Um, if you have questions, you go ahead and shoot them to me. I'll, I'll see if I can answer them for you. Timing chain uh, I6B, right? Right. I'm almost positive. Let me double check. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time, so I'm happy. <laughs> I6B, that was right. That was right. Okay. Timing chain I6B, we're going to go ahead and take that, and we're going to put this right on the front. And I think we're doing pretty well. Timing cover, we did get that rehabbed to 100%. Alright, um, crankshaft pulley, that's 34, we need to, yeah, we need to change that out I'm also trying to think to myself that, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to get everything to a hundred percent, you know, if it's uh, viable, you know, you can still, you know, rehab it and put it out on the market with a crankshaft pulley that's, you know, 72%, you know, that's uh, a lot of times you think, oh, it's not a hundred, it's not a hundred, sometimes it doesn't have to be a hundred, uh, close enough is good enough. Close enough is good good enough for horseshoes and hand grenades. Arm B one six B. Arm B one six B. I want to type that in because Arm B one six B. Boom boom boom. There you are. Wait, no no no. Arm B one six. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Slow down. That's the other thing too is you get going so quickly that you're not you're. Uh, you're messing yourself up sometimes. You need to slow down and make sure you're getting the right part in the right place. And the alternator was 100% because we had to replace that just to kind of get it to move. How are we doing on our serpentine belts? A is at 55%. Again, 55% close enough. Yeah, I could probably let that go. Um... But I don't think I'm going to. 55, when when you've just rebuilt the entire engine, I don't know if that's good enough. You know, <laughs> it's not good enough. Um, I think you'd have to be, yeah, I think I, I would be more comfortable. Serpentine L belts A and B. I would be more comfortable if it's up in like the 70s. Let's just... Serpentine belt A and B for the uh, I6B. Serpentine belt I6B. We'll take that one. Serpentine belt B. Uh, a, a, a. Serpentine belt B I6B. There it is. Okay. All right. There she is. We're going to go ahead and throw that on there. Um. The tra okay, um, okay, okay, so, um, you're just starting out, cool, um, welcome, <laughs> uh, 
Just starting out and don't know uh, anything about cars. Okay. Yes, that helped. I, I used to work on cars. That's one of the reasons why I love it. I haven't for a really long time. So this is kind of uh, revisiting things for me. I'll try to inspect the quality of something and it will be like inspect with whatever it is. Okay. Use the tread meter. Where the heck is the tread meter? Okay. The tread meter is, I don't have a car. I need a car. <laughs> I need a car with an engine in it. So if you come over to the um, car and you select the engine um, and then right click, down here are your examine tools. When you click on here, you'll get the uh, OBD scanner. Um, if it's a newer model car, that will work. Um, but if it's an older car, no OBD scanner, so there's no port, so it won't work. You got your fuel pressure test. Here's the tread, tire tread tester. Okay, so this is where it is. So you go in, and like I say, you have to you have to pop the hood, select the engine, and then right click, and then it's down here in the in the lower right hand section. Um, but the other thing, yeah, okay, so you may not have these yet because if you're just starting out, um, let me take you over to here, and this is a toolbox. And that's how you upgrade. Uh, it, there's the um, here's the tire tread mass the uh, tester. So yeah, so you kind of have to you have to get to this point, and then you can unlock it, and then you you'll be able to access it. Uh, OBD scanners down here. You got your electro multimeter over here. So yeah, like I say, as you go through, those are the tests you'll pick up. I'm glad I helped. I get I get nervous because I don't I don't really know <laughs> I know a little bit, and I, I'm more than happy to share if I can. But I, I'm never uh, I am by no shakes. All right, so I need um, I need something, an air filter and an oil filter for an I4C uh, to the shop. Uh, let's just go oil filter. I kind of like going through everything. The more you go, th you scroll through, the more you get to know, you know, what's 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 out there, you know. Um, and just by going straight to the thing, it does save a lot of time. But yeah, again, you you don't know what's out there. So there we go. We got those two things. We'll throw those on. Where are we at, and what are we doing? Okay, so uh, yeah, we can put the stuff back on the front end as well. Uh, the front timing. Well, we did that. We just got to get, uh, we got to finish it off with the, I bought this because it was missing when I bought it from the junkyard. And in order to get it to move, I had to move it around the shop a bit. Um, All right, test track. You have uh, you have a test path and a test track. Right. Yeah, those are also handy um, diagnosing tools. Um, you've got your test path, which is over here. I believe you have it. Um, I believe you have it when you first start out, uh, and you just. Uh, Again, you go over to a car and you can, I think my Typhoon is running. So we may be able to play around with this one a little bit. Right click, move car, and then you can go to test path. And again, I'll have to double check um, their availability, but I think you get a test path. Yeah, I, I'm, I may be forgetting that. I, and I don't mean to, I, I, I apologize if I'm not. Yes. Are you sure you want to proceed with the test pad? Yes. Hopefully it starts. And then if you pull up, um, the first test is the brake test. I, I'm playing uh, keyboard mouse, so you hit the S button and that will slow down and that, that applies the brakes. And you can see that my driver side's at 39%. My passenger side's at 15%. That is the, the condition of my brakes. Uh, in the front. Now I'll hit the rear. They're running. I gotta hit my S button to apply the brakes. These are both in good. Oh, I rebuilt that. That's why. So both uh, 
driver side and passenger side brakes are in good shape so if you pull up to this is the suspension test again the front end still needs work so uh, driver sides better than the passenger side it's yeah it's kind of a it's kind of a no it's it's the uh, everything together so here and then you get a breakdown here's the breakdown yeah those those initial numbers but then when like I said when you get to this cool cool yeah so then it starts to give you the breakdown brake pads rubber bushings this kind of stuff um, and that's how you can do that and I think you get to do oh, I should have hit close I, I hit the escape instead and I think you have that in your first, even in your first incarnation. I think there's a test path. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, adds another car lift warehouse, another parking spot. Okay. Spin your grab. Adds it. Okay, the test path doesn't come in until until the first. Uh, that first garage upgrade sorry man i'm talking like like you already got yeah it's pretty early um it's a, it's a i'm sorry man <laughs> i'm sorry um but it's a pretty it's a pretty useful um diagnostic tool same thing with uh the test track and then in, in, uh to access that you just go up to the main gate your overhead click on that test tracks down here in the lower left hand corner uh, what car do I want to take? Obviously, the Smith 1500 doesn't <laughs> doesn't have a whole engine, and the Jeep Willys, uh, the engine's on the stand. So we'll we'll try out the DC Typhoon. Um, I kind of like this part. I again, I'm keyboard mouse. I'm sure if you uh, you had a uh, yeah, it yeah, I agree with that. I agree with you wholeheartedly. So I'm just hitting W, doing the acceleration test. Actually, she's not, she's not slow. All right, now I gotta do a little bit of slow. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Again, I'm WASD in it, so it's not, <laughs> it's not the easiest thing. A little herky-jerky, sorry about that. All right, so we're gonna take off. We're gonna do the suspension test here. Wow, she is fast. This is my first time taking the Typhoon out on the test track. And then this is the uh, brake test here. All right, and then you'll get another listing. Well, that's what I'm here for, Darren. <laughs> Got any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them as best I can. No, it isn't, yeah, you kind of feel your way a little bit. So. Uh, you get a little bit more breakdown, so you get some, uh, this is suspension, your tie rod, uh, the clutch release bearing is your gearbox, front springs, that's suspension, tie rod, wheel hub bearing, those are all uh, suspension stuff, so. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad, I, you know, I'm ho I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> So uh, that was always, yeah, when I first started out, and like you were saying, I didn't realize, I, I don't know, do you get the test track? When do you get the test track? Um, adds another car lift warehouse and another parking spot to your garage. Um, I thought that was relatively early on as well. 50% faster. test path okay that could be and I have picked up some DLC I, I don't I don't remember which ones are I think the test the test track I'm almost positive the test track is in there though. Uh, adds the paint shop to dyno and another lift. Yeah, I think you might have to test you might have the test track. 
So you may be able to take the cars out on the test track. Um, because I'm not seeing... Yeah, yeah, definitely check that out. Um, because, again, it is a pretty useful diagnostic tool. And then the next one you'll get is the test path before you get those individual... Can I can I select this and just hit... No, it doesn't give me... Any doesn't allow me to test with the testers okay so where am I at and what am I doing here um, kind of yeah pretty much which is I think is another reason why I like it so much <laughs> well no yeah I mean it, it's uh, you run the tests and then it will tell you you know it will let you know what you need to do pretty much you know pretty much All right, so what am I doing? I am can't fix anything on the bench, no. Let's take a look and see. I don't know if I have any gearbox. This is my goodies. This is the stuff you get out of the crates. Uh, these are parts that I've saved because I guess at some point I'll, I'm supposed to be able to work on them. Um, these parts are dead. I should just really, I should just sell all of these. <laughs> and get the money and then open it up. This was, I was working on a bolt reptilia. I could probably clean that out as well. But let's check the goodies and see if there's any gearbox. Nope. What about? Yeah, I'm not gonna use. If I use high performance. Yeah, there is. I'll show you that in a second. Um, Darren's asked if there's a cell below X condition cutoff. Right now my inventory is all rusted out brake parts. Yeah, you'll you'll accumulate those like nothing. I mean, they just clutter up your shop like nobody's business. I'm not going to put high pro parts in here anyway. Um, so if you go to your inventory, right click, head up to your inventory. And then you can go to sell parts, which is down here in the left hand. And it says sell parts that condition is below or equal to. And then, like I say, you can set this, this slider wherever you want. So if you want to keep stuff that's 50% uh, or above, you set it at 50, hit yes. And, and it'll automatically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can do that. It's, I mean, again, it, when you get to the point where you can use your bench, which I think, again, that's that's coming for you, um, you can make repairs, uh, which is one of the, oops, sorry, hit the wrong button, uh, which is one of the reasons why maybe you hold on to some. Uh, when you go to a warehouse, uh, junkyards and uh, uh, barns and stuff like that, you're looking for the junkyard and barn finds. You can find, you see, these are all barns. Like I said, I've got everything opened up I, to the point where I'm, I'm, got, I'm backed up with barn uh, situations. They have different parts. So if it's, uh, if it's hard to find parts or if you think it's going to be, it's a valuable part for, or it's for a car that you want. Right. Save cash by, yeah. And that's the big thing too when you get into doing the jobs, which you'll have to do to progress. Um, the client only wants to, you know, the, the quote unquote client wants only, to only spend what they need to, you know. So if you can, and again, fix it, repairing parts, I think, comes later in the game. Um, so right now, yeah, just buy the parts you need. Where is odds of successful repair raised to 65%? Oh, okay. So you can expand your garage, adds test path, and a repair bench. So yeah, once you get to this first upgrade, then you can you can start you know you can start um, trying to repair parts, and then the um, these things level two that increases your odds of successfully repairing them. So you, even even here when you get it you you know maybe touch and go, but by the time you get up to where I'm at you know it's more than likely you'll be able to uh, odds of successful repair raised to ninety five percent. So you know I'm. Not guaranteed every time, but pretty close, pretty close. So then if you get, uh, you go out, oh, I need to, okay, let me, do, 
Uh, so I, I went to the junkyard the other day and I found a whole bunch of uh, high performance. It can't, yeah, it, it, you can get it up to 100%. Again, um, sometimes, you know, it, yeah, sometimes it'll get up to 100%. Sometimes it'll break in the process. Um, and when it breaks, you'll hear this kind of this breaking sound. So all of these red high performance gearboxes I found at the junkyard. And so I picked them up because there's a, uh, no, I don't want to sell it. I think there's a good chance that I may be able to fix them on my bench. And then I got, I got these high performance. See, there it is. It's going to cost me $82 to repair and then another $121 to repair. So now this is the second time I'm going to have to go back to the well, which is, like I say, it's one of those deals where, there you go, we got it 100%. Um, so that's the thing. The more you have to go to the well, the more risky it gets. Like I say, this this uh, uh, oil pan was really, it wasn't uh, fixing very much. It was just inching up inch by inch. and. I, I just knew for sure at some point what was going to happen was uh, it was going to break. But it didn't. And I'd like to think it's because I'm so good, but more than likely it's just luck. <laughs> it was just luck. Uh, so what do we need? We need a flywheel. We need a clutch pressure plate and a clutch release bearing. So we're going to go to the store. We're going to go to up parts. We're going to go to the gearbox. We need the flywheel. We don't need a clutch plate. We need a clutch pressure plate and a clutch release bearing. And throw those on there. And then I think, no, that was wrong, Pete. Um, and then I think we're done. I think we're done with this engine. We can put it back in the car. There's our flywheel. There's our clutch plate. There's our clutch pressure plate. And. Boop. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say. Clutch release bearing. I think that's it. Isn't it? I think we've got this thing handled. Rebuilt I-4 for the Jeep Willys. I think. I think that's it, right? I'm just going to make sure I'm not missing anything all right all right so what we need to do is we need to no we need to select the stand the engine stand and then we can go to take off engine from crane so we'll take the engine off the crane and we're going to grab and now I'm just the, this makes me laugh because now I'm just walking around <laughs> with this engine <laughs> <laughs> if you follow it, I'm literally just walking around the shop carrying this engine with me, but that's okay. Um, and then we're going to use the crane, engine crane. We move it over to lift two. We're going to install engine into the car. It asks you what engine, just in case you were carrying more than one engine around the shop. Um, so this is the I-4 that we've rebuilt. You can see everything is up to 100%. Condition 100%. We're going to click on that. And that will put it right in there for us. We'll move this back to its home. Goodbye. And if we take a look, there she is. We need a brake servo. Um, we didn't fix that, did we? Brake servo. No, it's it's 14%. So let's buy another one. Buy another one. Brake parts. Servo. Enter, thank you. And we will install that servo. It's over here. Accessible from the, I am in the engine bay. I didn't select the engine. So if it tells you that, it's just saying that you, you're in this place, but you got here in kind of a roundabout way. What we need you to do is go back to coming in through the engine, the engine bay. So just go back out and select the engine and then you're in there's that and I think that we did we did re 
we were able to uh, get the radiator back to snuff. Batteries at 100%. We can go ahead and take a look. We got all green here, which is nice. And we'll go ahead and rebuild our drive shaft, our drive train, drive, drive shaft train, drive, drive. Train. Oh, I should have closed that hood. You always got to be careful because if it goes too high, it can smash that hood on the uh, the roof. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to reinstall the gearbox and. It's a four by four, so we've got to put the transfer case in as well. Um, yeah, it's kind of a personal hobby. Um, I I really enjoy the game. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, the more you play, the the f you can almost start. You were saying before about diagnosing. Honestly, the more you play, the more you start to, you know, uh, the jo job orders come in and you can just read what the problems are and you, you already know, okay, that's going to be this, that's going to be this, you know, and that's kind of cool. It's kind of <laughs> when you, you start to think of yourself as, hey, man, I, I know what I'm doing here a little bit, you know, and that's kind of cool. Um, so I do like playing it. I try to... Uh, You'll learn pretty quick. I think you'll learn pretty quickly. Like you were, you had mentioned, it's, it's kind of, oh, uh, I think you'll, you'll definitely get that. You will definitely get to uh, knowledge about how a car works. They do use the proper, uh, part names and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's scaled down, but again, you don't need to know each bolt and bracket and all that other stuff. Um, <laughs> I do that now, man. Darren, I, I when I pop my hood, um, yeah, right. You know, um, when I popped the hood on my car, though, I I was I was looking at an engine and it was in sideways, and I'm like, I you know, back in the day when I was working, I'm a, I'm an old man. I'm an old man. <laughs> back when I was working on cars, you know, the idea of a sideways engine was nuts. It, yeah, I mean, I again, it may not look exactly like that, but somewhere on your car is an ABS, a module. So yeah, I mean, you could you could go and look up and figure out what yours looks like. Um, rear muffler, middle muffler, and front section, front exhaust section, I four C. Front exhaust section I4C. Yeah, they did. And I'm I I got uh they did make a new version, 2021. Um I'm looking forward to getting it, but I'm just I'm having so much fun playing this one. Um and this was on my wish list for a long time. But um, I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't sure. And then um, there was um, Epic. Epic Store um, had a free trial, so I got it for free. And I'm like, cool. And of course, once I got it, and I was I was having fun with it. Well, then I knew that Steam had the DLC. So I was like, well, now I want the DLC, you know, <laughs> but Epic didn't seem to have it. So I, I wound up uh, middle muffler and then so I wound up coming back to Steam and buying it. Um, and, and like I say, since then, I've picked up a couple of different DLCs. One of the things I do know is the Mazdas, they have what's called rotary engines. I, I don't you know, you said you're not not real uh, knowledgeable about cars, so I don't if I if I, I don't want to sound condescending, man. I'm not trying to do that. But they have what's called uh, a, uh, a rotary. So it's not the pistons. It's it's a rotor. 
inside there. And I'm like, that would be cool. That and and like you were saying, that's a little bit of a different situation, you know. So it, it changes the game a little bit. Um, so yeah, so so there you go. <laughs> Yeah, and it is it is comp- somewhat comprehensive. You'll get to know a lot about suspension because um, there's a lot of suspension work, which I think uh, would actually kind of uh, mimic uh, what happens in actual shops. There's a lot of brake jobs you'll learn. You know, you'll learn the different parts of uh, that go to a, uh, the brakes, um, stuff like that. So yeah, you'll start to learn that the, you'll get you know again the. Uh, <laughs> The, the exhaust system, well, you'll get to know that pretty well. Uh, I keep forgetting what that was. It's a... Uh, I keep forgetting that one. Um, rear muffler, V8 LHV, okay. Rear muffler. V8 OHV, okay. Rear muffler, Mustang, and yeah, yeah, uh, and that's the thing is when you first get it and you don't have any of the DLC, um, the game makes up names. I mean, they're, you, you can kind of figure out what cars they are. Um, they're using like the real uh, kind of um, look and stuff of the cars and layout, um, but they, yeah, they make up the names, so. Um, when you pick up the DLC, then all of a sudden you start getting the actual car names and stuff. I picked up the Jeep because in my younger days, I, I used to have a Jeep and I love, I loved it. It was, a, it was an amazing vehicle. Um, so we've got this global part at body condition at 82%. The parts condition is at 99. Our frame is at 74 and then interior is at 65 Frame and interior, you can't do anything uh, about until you get further along in the game. Steering wheel three, okay. Bench, Jeep, Willys. So this is, oh, I got to put the starter back in. Glad I checked it. That I forget almost all the time. I pull the starter off and I forget to put it back on all the time. Okay, so there's that. Now, we're going to do some body work and some interior work. So in order to do that, we have to move this car over to there. And what are we gonna do? Let's pull, this front left fender's all rusted. Um, so we're gonna pull that front left fender. The front bumper is all rusted, we'll pull that as well. That's not coming off, I think the, Yeah, I mean to specialize like that, that that would be that would be pretty cool. Take care of the fender. This is going to come off with when we get the uh, welder. So the welder will take care of that. Um, I think that's it. Uh, let's take the rear bumper as well. I don't think the I don't think those th- those things don't come off. So they'll get fixed with the welder. So what we're going to do, how about the front window? I just, I pulled it because I didn't know. Sometimes the, oh, there you go, trunk window. We want to make sure that that's in good shape as well. And I can't, doesn't give me, up in the upper left-hand corner, normally when you take a part off, it will give you the, uh, it will give you the, uh, oh, I like this. <laughs> Uh, it will give the percentage that, that it's at. So I pulled it just so I can see because I'm not sure where those are at. The um, military front left fenders at 67. License plates at 90. I don't care about the plates though. The bumpers at 62. Fender 72. 71, 87. Okay. Um, is that all the parts that I take? I didn't take the hood though, right? Might as well pull the hood, right? I mean, at this point, you got everything off anyway. Yeah, might as well pull everything off. This is the other thing: is I uh, my last 
upgrade, garage upgrade, allows me to now, I can work on body parts as well. So not only do, was I working on uh, uh, engine parts, but now I'm, uh, yeah, bodywork guy is cool. Here, you, I'm going to show you, I'll show you something cool about bodywork. He, I don't know if I can move the uh, welder over there. No, I gotta put it on a car lift. Okay. All right, let me let's put it this on the car lift. We're gonna put this over here. We'll put it on one. We're gonna do some body work for my friend Darren. <laughs> oh. Well, it gives you. It's just a quick. I think it's uh, go to car lifter eight. So this is our our welder. And this is what we can use to uh, fix the um, frame. And again, this will this doesn't come into the game until um, after you've reached the. Uh... So we're going to go ahead and use the equipment. It's going to cost us a thousand dollars. Now, um, before we do that, let's just take a look. And you can see uh, there's some rust here, some rust over here, uh, around the back. A little bit of rust. I think it'll even fix this tire, which it shouldn't, but um, basically the welder's like a an all-over fix. So you hit the welder, you hit use the equipment, we're going to say yes. And for $1,000, if you look, rust is gone. Frame's in uh, perfect shape. We come around the back there. So it knocks off that surface rust and uh, fixes up the chassis and the and the frame and all that good stuff. So um, I also have the ability to work on body parts. So we got the front bumper, got that up to 87. Again, I'm, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. It's, it's magical, that thing. If I can fix all of these body parts, are you kidding me right now? Oh my, oh my, people should come, they should write songs about me, <laughs> that was so awesome, I didn't, uh, I got all of them, so we got that, um, put that back together there, oop, put this uh, back on here, front bumper, it's at 100%, front window, 87%. Like I say, it doesn't be a, it doesn't have to be 100%. Um, and it's not going to be because 87 is fine with me. 100% here. Trunk windows at 71. Eh, still, still fine with me. I'm not a nitpicker. All right, you need to go back. And then the last thing we're going to do is we have to do some... Oh, we got to put the headlights back in. 95%, 95%, that's a different color though. It's a different color though. I wonder if I paint the car, if it will be the right color then. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's uh, take out the bench. Take out the fan. Nope. Okay. We do want to get rid of the steering wheel, though. Why is it not working? Oh, you know why? Because you have to go to interior disassembly. Um, so you got to select interior disassembly, otherwise it won't disassemble the interior. And we don't like that. Okay. So there we are. We are 60 and 63%. What do you think? What, what, what do you think? Oh my God. 
assembly. I think the uh, seats, the front, 94%, that can stay where it's at. 80%, that's fine. 63? Am I really going to get all torqued up about a 63%? I don't think so. And same thing with the steering wheel. It's 60%. It's still better than half. Um, and this over here is the interior detailing setup. So we're going to move that over to our car. And for 100 bucks, we'll clean up the interior. 100 bucks, we'll clean up the interior. Now it's all shiny and clean. We'll go back over here and we'll sit. We can take a look. Uh, got a little bit of wear on the... Uh, And the steering wheel but this car is pretty much done at this point it's worth twenty five thousand one hundred and forty six dollars um yeah the left tail light and the bench steering wheel and the trunk I don't care I can show you how to paint it We'll move it over to the paint shop. Um, we'll take a look. It's a nice red color right now. Um, so we get to the paint. We can uh, hit factory. Set current. I think if I do that, then it will paint that one light set the factory color so this is what it looked like when it came from the factory it was blue okay i'm going to set the current i'll just paint her up And paint car. There you go. So now everything should be nice and painted. And it'll be all the same color. Like I said, this uh, headlight now is red, as you can see. Um. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Now we get it back in there. That's red. Okay. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. You need to go out. I need to move you. Move. Oh. I'm going to move it back to one. No problem, man. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Always nice to have somebody, you know, come along for the ride. Anytime I can help out, just let me know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell this one, though. We're done with this Jeep Willys. It's uh, t valued at $25,146. We'll get a restoration bonus of $1,885. So we're going to sell that car. We got an offer for $27,031. I'll take it. There you go. One, uh, two down. And... I'm going to move this. Oh, you know what? Okay. The Smith 1500 will go um, into lift two. And we'll go get the uh, DC Typhoon. I almost forgot all about it. It's, uh, it should be in the test path. We're going to put this on lift one. And then this will be waiting for us. So the next time we come back. We will work on the DC Typhoon. I thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll come back and you'll watch us as we do some more work here on the DC Typhoon. Again, we're going to uh, we're going to go ahead and rebuild um, the front end, the suspension, uh, and the brakes as well. And then uh, after that, we'll get after the motor and the exhaust. Although we took it out on the test track today, and it, man, it it's got some pickup. It's got some pickup. And then uh, last but not least, of course, oop, last but not least, of course, we're going to get after the Smith 1500. And we're going to see how much it takes for us to rebuild this uh, 
this 1500 so come on back i'll look i look forward to it until i see you next time be safe be well and be good and we'll talk to you soon bye bye